Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Sa Wednesday edition ng The Stock Market Today, May 12, 2021, ito pong yung lingkod Benji Chodoro. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine stock market noong 2007. I do this report every day na nasimulan ko po noong August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks and if you like the content i invite you to subscribe to my channel and if you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed please comment on the comment box and i will prioritize pure gold po ang ating balita at ang resulta ng trading sa ating psa ngayong araw may 12 2021 dito lamang sa the stock market today From the business world, pure gold income climbs nearly 15% despite decline in sales. Grocery operator Pure Gold Price Club Inc. net income grew by 14.6% to 2.2 2.02 billion in the January to March period from 1.76 billion year on year despite posting a decline in net sales. This was principally driven by the continuous organic expansion of the group's grocery retail outlets, strategic cost management, and sustained consumer demand, Pure Cold said in a regulatory filing on Tuesday. First quarter net sales amounted to 37.73 billion, around 7.9% lower than last year's 40.95 billion due to a drop in customer food traffic. The company said during its annual stockholders meeting on Tuesday that the small format and mini mart stores remain key focus area as it continues to adjust its products and services and needs of its consumers. We have adopted what we call the caravan, where we bring many items to the locality that may be far from our stores so that the consumers need not go to our stores due to the difficulty in mobility, Leonardo Bidayo, director of Pure Gold, said. The grocery operator said it also aims to continue with its expansion plan this year. We will be reviewing Pure Gold as we review the stocks based on uh, technical analysis. So let's now go to the PSE. The PSE index declined 90.43 points or 1.43%. Talagang napaka bearish ang sentiment ng ating stock market nowadays. And ang tingin ko lang it's probably because of the lingering vaccine or lingering um, COVID-19 cases yung increasing or hindi bumababa na COVID-19 cases. I think that's the reason kung bakit uh, very bearish or bearish ang sentiment ng ating PSE. So it ended at 6236.40. Yung ating market summary, 141 companies declined, 65 or 55 companies advanced, while 50 companies remained unchanged. The All Share Index also declined by 1.28%. On the sectoral indices, only the financials was the only the only bright spot which ended up 0.28 percent or 3.93 points up but the rest the holding companies industrials mining properties and services were in the red led by the holding companies or the mining at 3.07 percent decline as for the most active stocks let's review the top 10 we have SMPH, Ali, Tel, ICT, Pure Gold, Meg, JFC, AP, ASEN, and Ayala Corporation. So let's now start with SMPH. Okay, SMPH decline. Malaki yung decline niya, 1.45 points, ano? 1 peso 45 centavos to end at 32.50. Actually, maganda na pong... Uh, um, um, price na ito dahil napaka cheap actually nasa support area siya 31.80 to 31.90 po ang support ni SMPH with a bearish sentiment and then Ali Ali talaga yung natatanggal sa top 10 to 
nag-decline siya by 30 centavos to 31.95 it is holding support at uh, sa area ng yan 31.80 to 31.90 or 31.80 to to 32 pesos yun po ang support ni Ali bearish ang sentiment and then tell also declined actually magandang income ni tell no pero market is really bad with the uh, support at uh, 1218 nag decline siya by 14 centavos to end at 12.50 bearish pa rin po ang sentiments bearish po to sideways with RSI at 46 then ICT one of my favorite stocks nagko consolidate siya actually declined 140 after two successive breakouts so it's at a 138 level with bullish po ang sentiment ni R, uh, ICT as the stock is uh, has an RSI of 67 pesos after ICT pure gold okay pure gold dropped by almost 1 peso 0.95 centavos at 32.95 bearish pong sentiment may earnings po siya but despite the earnings report ay napakababa po ng stock the next support level nasa 30.40 to 30.50 ang next support level ni pure gold and then meg okay meg also declined talaga napakababa ng stock nasa support level na po ito at 282 with a bearish sentiment as our indicators the exponential moving averages of 20, 50, and 100 are above the candlestick and the RSI is already oversold at 26 pagka bumaba po sa below 30 ang RSI oversold na po ang stock which means that anytime soon magkakaroon ng turnaround in price and then JFC also dropped to 170 and 40 to uh, it's uh, down 4 pesos and 60 centavos nasa support area na po ito 170 po ang support area ni um, JFC bearish po ang sentiment and then avoid this power okay avoid this power lost 65 centavos but this is a green candlestick since the opening price is higher than the closing or the closing price is higher than the opening price but the closing price is significantly lower than the previous closing price of pure gold kaya red candlestick po ito ang previous closing price po was 23.70 nasa 23.05 pero sideways to bullish po ang avoid this power since the RSI is uh, at 45 and then after AP ASEN okay ASEN continues to move sideways although the closing price is higher than our moving averages it's a uh, sideways po I would say a movement niya, with the RSI at 49.17 finally we have Ayala Corporation Ayala Corporation declined by 13 pesos to end at 7.27 losing 13 centavos or 13 pesos rather and it is now at support area support po is here at uh, 720 to 721 Yan po ang ating report sa stock market, May 12, 2021, Friday. Get your vaccines kung kayo po ang ay senior citizen o merong uh, hindi naman senior kundi may comorbidity. Makipag-ugnayan po kayo sa inyong LGU para po ma kayo po ay ma-vaccinate. Na-vaccinate na po ako, pati po ang aking anak. Ang aking anak, ang uh, naturok po sa kanya ay Sinovac. Ako po ay... Uh, um, Sputnik Sputnik V Ito po si Benji Chidoro Nagpapaalala, mag-ingat sa COVID at sa mga scams An investment in knowledge Pays the best interest Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik at pagsubaybay Hanggang sa muli God bless and bye for now